That ain't nothing. This ain't that. that you, man, that's a crumb from the master's table. Oh. You want the whole bakery, not just a loaf. You, I'll give you the whole bakery. Yeah. Come on, come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. I'll make your fishes of men. Follow me, follow me. You're over here trying to pick up these little minnows. Man, I got some whales over here, brother. You can feast on them. Get out of your comfort zone, in other words. Right. Stop being satisfied where you're at. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because God's not satisfied where we're at. You got to know that you're going to your full potential. That's right. You got to have full potential in Jesus Christ. Otherwise, you're going to miss the mark. You'll live in misery. You'll live in depression. You'll live in discouragement because you're you're not be, being where the master wants you. You're not being planted where he wants you. Yes. You're not doing what God wants you to do. We all have something to do for Christ. Every one of us got a calling. Okay. Everyone, we need to do it to our full potential. And you're just sitting back, just feeling sorry for yourself. Some people, some people having a pity party, inviting the devil, having milk and cookies with the demons. My God. No. Yes, they are. Jesus. When he's supposed to be binding them, rebuking them, resisting them, and saying, my God, Amen. what else do you want me to do, Lord? Yes, put, Lord. Bible said, once you put your hands in the plow and look back on that old life and desire, you ain't fit for the kingdom of heaven. No. Right. Don't look back. Yeah. Look forward. Yeah. God's got so much for you. Jesus. Say, so, yeah, but I'm not called to be a preacher. Oh, no, but you're called to be the light of the world, ain't you? Amen. Well, I'm not called to be an evangelist, but you're called to be the salt of the earth, ain't you? Thank you. Yes. Well, I, ain't got, I ain't called to be a missionary, but you're called to be a witness for Christ, ain't you? Hey, somebody yeah. shout for yeah. yeah, you're called to do something, all right. I don't care what it is. If it's vacuuming in the floor, I should let me tell you something. When you vacuum this floor and you believe God's called you to black or va vacuum this floor, let me tell you, there shouldn't be a piece of lint on it. Amen. You ought to be the best vacuum cleaner in the world, boy. Amen. You should have two of them. Amen. Always have a backup. Yeah. Because see that's your responsibility. Yeah. And I'm gonna cover my listen, I want nobody messing with the floor. That's my job. There you go. How come I never see nobody fighting over the vacuum cleaner? Mm. <laughs> Preach it, Pastor. Preach it. I ain't never seen nobody fighting over who's going to clean the toilets. Jeez. Can I get real? Yes, yeah, real, buddy. Oh, oh but Pastor, I want to sing. Can't sing. You sound like a hound dog on a summer day. <laughs> and you want to sing. Jesus. My God, we went dead again. Uh -huh. I want to preach You don't even know your Bible yet You ain't figured out who Matthew, Mark, Luke and John is yet And you won't preach The Bible says You do whatever your hands find to do Do it unto the, the, unto the name of the Lord thy God With all your strength Amen. Amen. Do whatever Amen. Do whatever Amen. Then watch God use you and bless you And if you're called to preach You'll be a good preacher If you're called to sing You'll be a great singer Amen But first you got to start at the bottom Amen. Because pride goes before the fall. Right. The Bible says, Don't lay your hand on any man suddenly for the ministry. Can I repeat it? Yeah. Jesus. Mm. Thank you. I've made that mistake a few times in 42 years, trust me. Pushed them a little too fast, a little too hard, and they got all arrogant and rude, and they thought they all knew everything. And they didn't. They, the Bible says, You'll never know more than your teacher. But listen, I'm still learning too, you know. I just got so much zeal for God, I'm just trying to get some soul winners out there, you know. I can't help it, they can't handle it. And then the next thing you know, they're falling. Mm. We got to climb the ladder one step at a time. Can I get an amen? Oh yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. I got 10 more minutes to preach. My God, my God, we haven't have church yet. Glory be to God. Whew. Don't be living in darkness. Because the Bible says that the darkness it gets gross. You ever see gross darkness? Ooh, that's like out of darkness. You close your eyes and you still can feel darkness coming. God don't want you living in darkness. He said he's the light of the world. Amen. Amen. And when we follow him, we're the light of the world. And he said he even tells us how to shine. He said, put your candle on the candlestick and put it up high so it gives light to everybody in the house. Amen. You're that candle. Jesus. He said, you don't take that candle and hide it under a bushel where it'll smother and suffocate. 
No, let your light shine. Use your gifts for God. Use your mouth for God. You know how to use your mouth. Come on, you know how to use. I heard some of them mouths. You know how to use your mouth. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. I never forget one time I come in to visit somebody. I was going door to door. And I was going to visit somebody from the church. And I was just getting ready to knock on the door. In the name of God, we're so happy we're bringing literature and Bibles, everything. We know this brother and sister. For, we're going to knock. And, and boy, and World War III broke out. So, whoa. Whoa. I mean, I heard things make the devil blush. <laughs> I said to my brother, I said, maybe we better back off of here a little bit. What do you think? He said, I think we better. They know you said, things are flying all over. I said, I said, let them come back another day. Come back another day. They ain't ready for us right now. Jesus. It was a deacon. Oh, 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 he, wow. stopped, he stopped beaconing. <laughs> Come on. The, the light blew out. Blew oh, a fuse. Oh, so I talked to him about that one day. Down the road a little bit. He said, well, that wasn't my fault. That was my wife pushed my button. Oh, wow. I said, man, if your wife can push a button that easy, you don't need to be a deacon. Uh, hey, man. Amen. <laughs> I'm a deacon. Oh, no, no, by the way. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I, can I say it this way? I don't mean to be crude. But I know I tell it like it is. Amen. Amen. I don't care how many demons are assigned to you from hell. <gasps> Does that shock you? <laughs> let me repeat it then. So you can let it sink in. It don't matter. Let me put it another way. It don't matter how many demons are have an assignment to destroy you because my Bible. Oh, I love the Bible. Oh, I'd get all confused if I didn't have the Bible. I might believe some of that garbage if I didn't have the Word of God. See, but the Bible says, Greater is He that is in me than He that's in the world. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? It don't matter about no demons. If we, we focus too much on the devils and not enough on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, we focus too much on the negative instead of the positive. Amen. We focus too much on our wounds and ourselves and our cuts instead of the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Don't matter how many the people call it, but the devil's after me. That's why I rebuke him, man. He gave you power to rebuke him. Rebuke him. Resist him. That, Amen. Right. Somewhere you open the door and let the dude in. That's what happened. You let him in. That's and guess what? He'd be glad to come in. Oh. And what does he do when he comes in? Mm. Rob, oh, kill, and destroy. Yes. My God, I can stay here for hours and tell you how many Christian homes, how many Christian marriages, I said Christian, how many Christian marriages he destroyed, how many Christian homes and families and children he's destroyed, how many finances he's destroyed because people robbing God. I can go on forever. Why? Because they don't obey the word of God. Amen. Christians. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. What's the word Christian mean? When you look it up, it's Christ-like. Christ we, we use that word cr Christians too freely. Yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. They do. They really yeah. I'm a saint, and now and then I'm not an ain't. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Roller coaster Christians. Yeah. They're up one day and down the next. Hey. Right. Hey. Mercy, Lord. When you call up, you, you hope you find the one that's up, not down. Mm -hmm. well, which one am I talking to today? Which, I hope nobody's named Pete here, but if you don't, uh, which Pete is this? Hey, Jesus. which Pete am I talking to today? The upper or the downer? Mm -hmm. wow. Come on, somebody! Ooh. My God, in closing, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close. I know you can't take much more. No, I'm the one doing up here, all sweating. Oh yeah. you know I man. Hang in there with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Clay. Whew. Clay, that's a vessel. But a clay vessel that can be filled with the power, the presence, the anointing, the strength of God, the grace of God, the joy of God, the victory of God. So yes, we're, we're clay vessels. But what do vessels, or what are they used for? To pour something in them. And I just listed some things that can be poured into this vessel. So what are we, here's the question, are we a vessel for honor for God or dishonor? Oh, I didn't know I was going to hit a nerve on that one. So I'll have to repeat it, I guess. Are you a vessel, let's take it right on home, right on home. You a vessel for honor or honor. dishonor 
for the glory of God. Psalm chapter 40 verse 2. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Amen. We've all been in a pit before we knew Jesus. Amen. Your pit might have been a little deeper than mine or might have been a little deeper than you, but a pit's a pit, don't you know? Amen. And full of slime. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do I need to name it? You know what a pit is. Oh, All right, but he's saying here, the Lord brought me up out of a horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. you don't have to stay in the miry clay anymore. No, you don't. You hear what I'm saying? No, you don't. Ooh, when you give yourself to Jesus, you can come out of the pit. Hallelujah. You're not in the miry clay swimming around in the muck and mire trying to find your way to some peace and joy or find some victory. No, it's automatic. He said, he brought me out of a horrible pit. Listen, and took me out of the miry clay. And what? He set my feet upon a rock. Jesus. Amen. Ooh, who's our rock today? Jesus. Oh, man. You, it, 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 it. Jesus. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? If you would ask, if I was sitting there and somebody said, Who's your rock? Man, I'd be my, my baby. Jesus. 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 Come on. I'm going to give you one more chance. Who's our rock today? Jesus. That's a little better. That's a little better. Hallelujah. He's the rock. Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, and it says on, it ain't stopped yet. It goes on to say, and he established my goings. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus wants to establish your goings. He said, I'll be a lamp under your feet, a light under your path. He'll establish your goings when you yield to him. You won't have to say, well, what is it, Lord? What do you want me to do? He'll show you what he wants you to do. In the meantime, until he shows you, you do what Bible, like I said earlier, about whatever your hands find to do, do it as unto the Lord and not to man. Amen. Do it for Christ's sake. Yeah. And you'll be blessed for it. And then when the Lord sees you're serious and the Lord sees your burden and desire for souls and the less fortunate and those that are bleeding spiritually, he will all start to open doors that no man can shut. He will shut the doors that he don't want you to go through. Why? Because a man's ways please the Lord. And then he blesses them. Stand with me as we close. Hallelujah. So my question is in closing. Is your feet upon the rock or the rocks? If it's on the rocks, you're going to slip off. If it's on the rock, Christ Jesus, you'll stand. And if you want the Lord to establish your ways, amen, then you need to surrender your whole life. Not part of it. Can't hold nothing back. So as we close our service today, I'm going to give an invitation, amen, that we give it all to Jesus. Amen. We don't hold nothing back. For those that are listening by way of internet, I give you the same invitation. Let's pray this prayer. A prayer of salvation, prayer of rededication, whatever you might need. But let's pray it together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I come in the name of Jesus. I, I ask you, Lord, ask you, Lord forgive, all my sins. forgive all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Save, my soul, Save my soul. And make me whole. Make me whole. Lord, establish my going. Keep me from a horrible pit. Keep me from a horrible pit. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. For truly, for truly, I am the clay, I am the clay and you are the potter. You are the potter. Mold, me Mold me in your image. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's close with a praise. Hallelujah. A praise of thanksgiving. A praise of thanksgiving. I once was bound, but now I'm free. I once was blind, but now I see. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Woo, glory be to God. God bless you and your food and fellowship. We love you. Amen. Thank you.